Okay guys, so we are at another site here in Daytona Beach area that has a very unique sculpture that commemorates something, which I'll give some more details here in a minute. But where we're at is actually on the campus of Embry-Riddle. Why don't you guys come with me and see what I find over here? Come on, let's go. There's a hole in the gray sky Where the sun comes through Baby, can't you So see we're here on the campus of Embry-Riddle and we have come to see this sculpture that is a life-size replica of the Wright Brothers airplane. Isn't that old and new, guys? Sculpture of the 1903 Wright Flyer, and it was a tribute that was suggested by Embry Riddle Aeronautical University students. And I can see there's been a change here because in other pictures that I've seen of this sculpture, there was an ERAU that stood at the front in the front of the plane. But if you look closely, This is made out of stainless steel and it has a 40 foot wingspan, which means this is actually a life size replica. And in this, you can see that Orville is at the controls of the plane in there. And then back here is Wilbur right depicted watching his brother there's a silver lining if you care to see that things aren't as dark as they sometimes seem to be the Larry Godwin was the sculptor and this gives you a little bit of details here about who were on the monument committee you can pause for details if you wish and these were the major sponsors for the sculpture pause for details if you wish The figure here looks to be bronze to me. This tells the this tells the tale of how this was a student-inspired project. And so you can pause for more details here if you wish. But for you all that are airplane enthusiasts commemorates the beginning of air flight. You're amazing watching till the end and remember clicking and sharing helps others find the channel. So till next time guys keep exploring life matters. See you later. Bye bye.